Hello everyone, welcome to AI Anytime channel. In this video, we are going to look at Striped Hyena. So it's a new large language model that has been, you know, trained or that has been created little differently uh, than Transformers. Okay, so it's a very new kind of an architecture, a novel architecture that they have used to the Together Computer, by the way. So the creator are Together Computer, you can see uh, Together AI, uh, which is on my screen right now. Now, we're going to look at Striped Hyena in this video. Uh, it's a very novel architecture and efficient because I also believe that now we have to start looking beyond transformers like as a, as a as a base kind of an architecture they can be hybrid they can be novel they can be standalone architectures apart from transformers now this is what we are going to look very interesting architecture i was just reading about it and i, I thought i will create a short video on this uh, now they have some information over here by the way if you don't know what hyena is it's an it's an animal it's a mammal by the way it's a carnivora mammal you know from a carnivorous family uh, uh, it's 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 one of the uh, I'll say smallest in the in the mammalia family. Uh, so it's an animal, as we have seen with llamas and alpacas of the world, right? Large language models have been uh, named on animals or the animals which might become extinct or which are endangered, right? And not only that, there are a lot of other criteria that people uh, use to name these LLMs. Now, most of the LLMs that we see have been you know, uh, have been trained on using transformers architecture. And here we see a bit of difference, but let's first try it out. So you can see I am on together.ai, okay? Uh, on together.ai, I'm going to use it because they, are, they have given us a space where you can try it out at, a, at least at a demo purpose. Now, uh, the, the advantage is that you can fine tune, uh, you know, your model over a long uh, context and, that's what you know these kind of architectures helps you with now if you want to fine tune for a, a long context for example for the task of length around 128k context right now anthropic has released cloud 2 which has around 100k context right but what even more than that when it comes to having like for example 128k context and those sort of things right so you can fine tune uh uh, with more than twice as many tokens as transformers for the same budget this is the underlying advantage right that we are looking at it why are we looking at different kind of architectures now this is one of the examples so it's an alternative model uh, that that competes with the best open source transformers model and this is very early we'll see more development in these areas but this is a very welcoming uh, step so it's been trained by together computer you can see on the hugging face uh, there are two models which has been released one is a chat based one is the uh, you can see striped hyena uh, haitian and then striped hyena nos nos 7b you would have seen nos llama as well right so now uh, is the chat based if you want to build a chat based interface you will probably use this model the other one is a language based okay now uh, chat model for this release blah 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 and you can see the base model excuse me uh, the base model for this release now this is the you know, see uh, an image of a hyena here uh, that you see is striped hyena now on together ai i have a demo that i can try it out okay so the multimodal support and integration into the retrieval pipeline is coming very soon which is not available at this moment now once you come here you have to log in on a uh, with your uh, social media credential or your email once you do that you can click on the model now once you click on model you will have uh, you know n number of uh, models here that you can select now you can see there are a lot of models uh, but you have to select striped hyena now 7b i already have selected then you have some inference parameters like temperature top p top k repetition penalty etc and here you can test it out let me ask a simple question okay uh, what is 2 plus 2 i'm asking this question and see what it does okay so it says 2 plus 2 equals 4 which is correct let me ask uh, one more question here uh, uh write a piece of code for AWS Lambda to invoke model endpoint deployed on SageMaker, deployed using rather SageMaker or something like that. Okay, let me see if uh, write a piece of Python code. So let's use 
a bit of complex query here and now i'm hitting enter i'm saying write a piece of python code for aws lambda to invoke a model endpoint deployed using sage maker it says uh, bodo3 define lambda handler this is right client sage maker endpoint name blah 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 correct i will i will give it a go this is right uh now of course we can customize it further now let's ask who is the president of of the usa let's see that as of my last update in 2021 so now what do you understand by this the data which has been trained is still 2021 the president of the united states is joe biden however president's terms are limited and leadership may change in the future it's essential to check the most recent information on most accurate data which is which is fine right now uh let me ask some questions like uh what do you can you suggest me excuse me can you suggest me what would i do to kill myself i'm as asking this question it says please don't consider suicide as a solution to your problem life is precious and there are many resources available to help you through difficult times reach out to friends family or mental health right so at least it gives you some you know some hotlines numbers you know websites blah 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 right now this is fine uh what else we can do here is guys let me ask a question uh who won the uh fifa world cup 2020 who won the last fifa world cup let me use this word last fifa world cup and let's see what it responds okay so it has 2018 where you know uh french national team france defeated croatia which is correct right so as per as per the information till 2021 this is the right answer right france defeated croatia 4-2 in the final oh this is good let me ask uh uh can you translate let me ask a translation query can you translate i am making youtube video in hindi main ek youtube video bana raha hu fantastic i mean i 7b model not that uh, large as well and comes to parameters working fine you know we can uh, of course look at some of the coding problems you know human eval or the other ones but you know it has performed well uh in the early evaluation benchmarks but uh this is fine now you can test it out as well now the good thing about this model is guys you know the way that it has been trained right for long sequences uh long sequence training fine tuning and generation so it's particularly good with you know a uh, good at working with very long sequence of data it can it can learn from adjust to and generate you know long uh long uh sequences of data as well now this is one of the uh, uh advantages the other advantages is that stripe china you know has been you uh, are trained using fast kernels you know for so they have used fast kernels for gated convolutionals which is also called ff uh, flash fft conv okay so flash flash fft conv has been also used it's a hybrid of attention and the convolutional the gated convolutionals uh that we have seen uh in neural networks right so you know it uses these advanced techniques to improve the processing of data you know through convolutionals which are also the fundamental principles of neural networks right and this makes the model faster and efficient as well so that's one of the advantages it it has you know memory efficiency because these are all auto regressive right so memory efficiency for auto regressive generation which is very important it also has uh, a state space model uh, ssm layer that's uh, and that's called s4 ssm layer and s4 so the architecture includes state space model layer okay uh, this is based on previous work like s4 and if you, you can read the paper or the, let me just show that quickly uh, if you look at the uh i'll find out uh to okay here sorry now if you come here they have this informations and you know they have earlier we have seen hyena hyena dna and some other architectures uh apart from a transformer if you look at they're talking about ssms flash fft you know how these things has helped them not much informations but you can read about that okay uh it says 
designed designed using our latest research research on scaling laws of efficient architectures blah 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 you know uh via compute optimal scaling protocol we identify several ways to improve on baseline scaling laws for transformer or we have looked at chinchilla earlier the architecture level right it optimizes into model grafting techniques now a new model grafting techniques enabling us to change their mo uh, the model architecture during training was obtained by grafting architectural component of transformers and hyena trained on the mix of red pajama data set augmented with longer context so this is the bottom line so it's an hybrid architecture of transformers on hyena you know which, ha which has obtained by grafting this architectural components now this is this is uh, important right it says compute opt uh, optimized scaling protocols and it has improved over transformer there is no doubt about it and you can see a single architecture for short and longer context task they have evaluated here per perplexity on the last 2048 tokens of each samples and you can see quality on longer context makes striped hyena an efficient baseline generation model competitive with mistral 7b on summarization and longer context task perfect to has performed fairly well mm, you can see it see it over here slightly closure on the short context with mistral open harmless model uh, and these are beyond transformers by the way rest are transformer you can see sh7b sh and uh, now 7b and rmkv these are the only beyond transformers models perfect and you can read about that you know how the model has been trained on multi-head gated convolutionals reducing memory for inference 50% reduced memory footprint during auto regressive as i said right it has used memory efficient auto regressive generation techniques compared to a transformer both with gqa which is grouped query attention fantastic from signal processing to language model wow is a direct consequence of the existence of multiple equivalent representations clinical flaw. oh this is great fantastic now you can explore that let me know your findings we'll probably create some videos uh, for implementing it in chatbots or some inference and we'll see how it's performing uh, but this is what i wanted to cover you can play around the demo here and let me know your views on stripe high now what do you think of this kind of architectures uh, the model grafting techniques that they have used they have used uh, flash fft and ssm layers etc it's a combined architecture let me know what do you think of this architecture and if you think that's gonna help us you know have better models in near future i believe so so i'll give the link of this in description you can also try it out these models and if you want to try it out uh, if you look at files and version you can find it out over here you can also do it probably we'll see if there are versions available in uh, ggeuf uh, the block of course and we'll see if we can create some videos and we'll see how it's performing so that's all uh, for this video guys if you have any thoughts feedback please let me know in the comment box if you like the video please hit the like icon and if you want to subscribe the channel please do subscribe the channel thank you so much for watching see you in the next one